Did you know that Microsoft Dynamics 365 represents over 30% of the ERP market share? The ERP landscape is vast, with many options tailored to different industry needs. Clearly, Dynamics 365 Business Central plays a massive role in that landscape. Can it stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with heavyweights like NetSuite and Acumatica? Let's dive in. Hey everyone, this is Jeff Budiak with Software Connect, your trusted partner for software reviews, research, and recommendations. We've tested, compared, and reviewed countless ERP solutions like Business Central on factors like overall functionality, performance, cost, and ease of use. To find the best ERP for your business, we recommend you check out our ERP Roundup page. That link is in the description below. Microsoft made a bunch of acquisitions to build their initial offerings. Some notable ones include Great Plains in 2001. Now known as Dynamics GP, it remains a standalone ERP software for small to mid-sized businesses. Then there's Exapta in 2002. They had since evolved into Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Finally, Navision in 2002 paved the way for Dynamics 365 Business Central. As the cloud era took hold, Microsoft saw a need for change. In 2016, they launched their Dynamics 365 brand. This new suite blended CRM and ERP. It brought these business tools together under one cloud-based model. Business Central is a cloud-based ERP designed to help streamline operations from sales to financials. It's one of many apps in the Dynamics 365 suite. It's best for small businesses with generally 10 to 50 employees. These companies are transitioning away from Excel spreadsheets or standalone tools like QuickBooks and Procurify. They're ready to integrate their financials and inventory operations into a single platform. It's also good for mid-sized companies, generally with 50 to 200 employees. Businesses at this level have complex operations. They need more advanced features like inventory forecasting and multi-channel sales management. Management. An adaptive tool solution like Business Central also scales with their growth. Large enterprises might find more success with Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. It's tailored to global organizations offering multi-company and multi-currency support. It also has stronger supply chain features like demand and supply planning. Finally, it's designed for a larger data loads and more concurrent users. Now, let's dive into the benefits of Business Central. It has a familiar Microsoft ecosystem. Dynamics 365 is perfectly in sync with products like Office 365. This provides a consistent interface, and smooth cross-platform connectivity. By contrast, those unfamiliar with Oracle's ecosystem might face some learning curves with NetSuite. It also has powerful accounting. Business Central stands out with its comprehensive financial tools. From cash flow forecasting to detailed reporting, it offers a depth that's both powerful and user-friendly. That said, accountings are going to have an easier time with it. For example, it requires an understanding of debits and credits. It also has next-level analytics, and it integrates seamlessly with Power BI, Microsoft's advanced business analytics tool. Add Azure AI to the equation, and you have real-time insights embedded directly into the platform. While Acumatica offers AR functionalities, they don't integrate as smoothly as what Business Central delivers. However, no software is without its cons. It has a limited CRM module. Business Central's CRM-specific dashboards and reports are basic, making it difficult to extract granular insights. Compare this to SAP S4 HANA with detailed customer journey mapping and holistic marketing automation. It also has clunky third-party integrations. While it integrates seamlessly with Microsoft products, Business Central sometimes struggles with third-party apps. This stands in contrast to NetSuite. It offers SuiteApp, a marketplace of third-party solutions, and the Suite Cloud Developer Network for custom integrations. It also can have daunting implementation. Setting up Business Central can be complex, so to navigate this, most businesses collaborate with a Microsoft Dynamics certified partner or value-added reseller. They can bring in specialized expertise for smoother implementations. Unlike most ERP systems, Business Central has transparent pricing. There's also a 30-day free trial. At the time of this recording, it provides two main licensing options. The essential license is $70 monthly per user. It covers core modules like finance, sales, and customer service. The premium package is $100 monthly per user. It offers advanced modules like manufacturing and service order management. Teams and a Microsoft Power BI free are included. However, Office 365, Power BI Pro, and Power Apps incur additional fees. Most companies find that essentials and premium fit their workflows, but there's also a team membership plan at $8 monthly per user. It provides limited access access for those who only need to perform basic tasks like reading data or entering timesheets. Cloud offers regular updates, support, and backup solutions. It integrates smoothly with other Microsoft Cloud services. On-premise provides more control, but it also requires in-house technical expertise for setup and maintenance. Customizing the core source can be challenging. Excessive customizations can drive up project costs and complicate updates. If you want to learn more about the risk of ERP customization, check out our page on that. Let's move on to some of the standout features. We've already talked about financial management 
management, but it's worth digging into more. Business Central offers the basic features you would expect, like general ledgers, payables, receivables. However, it also provides strong functionalities like in-depth reports and analysis. You can customize reports to fit your unique business model. You can also enable predictive analytics, trend analysis, and even AI-driven insights. This adds a layer of foresight to your financial management so that you can better predict the future scenarios. Business Central's advanced order entry system ensures swift and error-free order processing. Coupled with dynamic inventory modules, it offers real-time tracking to prevent stockouts and overstock situations. This combination makes it an invaluable asset to companies keen on maintaining optimal stock levels while ensuring smooth order-to-delivery process. When stock is insufficient to meet sales orders, it instantly notifies users and provides real-time visibility into back-ordered items. Finally, Business Central's sales management module allows you to oversee everything from lead generation to final invoicing. You can convert sales quotes into orders with a simple click. If inventory is linked, stock levels adjusted automatically once the sale is confirmed. This level of integration ensures businesses can maintain accurate stock levels and provide real-time product availability to customers. With seamless integration between the CRM and sales modules, you can effectively track interactions, ensuring no potential sales fall through the cracks. So what's the final verdict? I give Business Central an 8.3 out of 10 for its user-friendly ecosystem, accounting features, and advanced analytics. Explore more software options in our ERP Roundup page featuring industry giants like NetSuite and Acumatica. Have you ever used Business Central? What are your thoughts? Drop a comment below. Ready to explore Business Central or other ERP solutions? Reach out to our software experts. Click on the link in the description below or head over to softwareconnect.com. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.